every year a lot of people join software industry a lot of them join companies a lot of them join tech startups and a lot of them start freelancing but i have noticed that most of them are making a few mistakes these mistakes don't seem to be mistakes at the start but in the long run they can be very very harmful so this is your friend the lean programmer and in today's video i am going to give you 10 tips which you should definitely follow if you are a software developer or if you aspire to be a software developer or a software engineer. Do watch this video till the end and do like, share and subscribe to never miss an update from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we get started, uh, if you want to see these slides or if you want to access any of my previous slides or any of the presentations for my upcoming YouTube videos, you can visit my GitHub repository, which is github.com slash motherwell slash slides. You can uh, view all the presentations for my YouTube videos here and don't forget to give this repository a star and let's get started. So the first common mistake which I feel that just after people graduate from college and start their first job, they stop learning. They stop learning new things and that is that is the worst thing that you can do to yourself as a software developer. Let me tell you the reason why. Because things that are in demand today might be outdated tomorrow. Like things are very, very dynamic, at least in our profession as software engineers, you you must have already felt that the things are very dynamic and the library the framework which is very 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 into the market today can be very well be outdated very soon so it is always very important to stay updated with the latest technologies and the latest libraries and frameworks that are coming in the market and that's not at all difficult you can very easily do that. So yes, always remember that buying a course on Udemy or LinkedIn Learning is much better than Netflix subscription. Not always, entertainment is also important, but yes, I hope that you are getting my point that uh, don't hesitate to buy that course. Udemy courses are very, very cheap. Even LinkedIn Learning is very cheap. So you can actually stay up to date and documentation those are documentation is generally free you can just go to their website for the library or the framework which you are trying to learn and see the documentation and get started so yes do keep this in mind that never stop learning great second tip for today is that okay this is another very big mistake that generally i see two kinds of people first one which give up on the learning part as soon as they uh, enter the industry and the second type of people who are so ambitious so energetic and so enthusiastic that they want to learn everything in a single day remember that do not try to learn everything at once you will end up learning nothing so remember that rome was not built in a day spend one hour daily for learning that will be very very beneficial for you and trust me there's there's a lot of scientific reason behind that do check out on google about this thing called uh, forgetting curve and spaced repetition so the thing that happens is that as soon as we start learning uh, let's say i learned something new for a single day and then i gave up on that for let's say five or seven days it is highly 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 probable that um, i will forget that particular thing which i learned so yes uh, space repetition is very very important so the thing is whatever we are learning instead of doing that in a single day we can divide the concepts into multiple days maybe once in every two or three days we will spend one hour in learning do not try to learn everything in a single day you are not you will end up learning nothing great so the third tip for today guys is that prepare a proper learning strategy this is very important so you might have noticed that for the first few tips, we are talking just about learning and then we'll talk about other things as well in this video. So do watch this video till the end. It's something that you should definitely follow as a software developer. So yes, third tip is prepare a proper learning strategy. A lot of people I have seen that they jump onto the library or the framework without even having a 
proper proper road map in mind or uh, without even knowing what to do and where to do it from so before you learn ev- anything before you start learning anything try to make a proper road map for the concepts that you are going to learn and the courses that you are going to do so if you have that particular road map you will never feel confused and you will always know what to learn next and that will be very beneficial for you great so the fourth tip for today again it's about learning implement more more and more so this is one of the biggest mistake that people that generally students who aspire to be software engineers make they fall into something which is called the tutorial hell they they just start doing tutorials as many tutorials as possible they they get certificates a lot of people you must have come across a lot of people on linkedin on their linkedin profile they have hundreds and thousands of certificates and they share certificates daily while in reality if you ask them about that particular uh, thing which they learned after 100 days or maybe after 50 days or maybe after even 10 days it's highly probably that they might not even remember things so yes unless and until you implement the concept yourself you are not going to become a master in that so there is no other way out so and remember that online courses and certifications are not going to take you anywhere it's your skills it's your hands on implementation of those skills that is going to make you uh, succeed so the fifth tip for today is don't make things complex do not make things deliberately complex so this is one of the biggest mistakes which people make and i bet that you might have come across these type of people in hackathons generally in hackathons uh, these kind of people will use some trending technologies like like machine learning artificial intelligence uh, blockchain and so on they'll use these trending keywords to make their project very very cool but the thing is they are not being cool they just sound foolish every particular technology every particular domain every particular thing has its own use case if you are using that where it's not needed it you are not sounding cool you are it's just it's just completely foolish so yes always remember this thing that do not make things unnecessarily complex stop using the trending words or trending libraries just for the sake of it see the actual use case where are they required and then use it do things only if required great sixth tip for today is uh, another another mistake which i have seen many people doing that they just they just are so obsessed with perfection that they end up doing nothing uh remember that if you have something ready that is better than having hundreds of thing uh, work in progress and perfect you are trying to perfect them so always remember this tip that production over perfection i'll repeat myself production over perfection perfection can be achieved slowly when i say production over per- perfection i in no way mean that you should give up on perfection it is it is it would be another mistake but the thing is i am telling you not to over complicate things not to overthink and uh, see in the first go it is most likely that you are not going to achieve that particular perfection that you are looking for it's not a problem just try to implement go out there and uh, do things unless and until you do things you will never know where you are lacking where your skills are lacking so never ever wait for that course to get completed before implementing your skills never ever feel like i have to write down the perfect algorithm on paper and then i'll solve the problem the thing is start start doing things and automatically with time you will improve remember production over perfection so the seventh tip for today is rest this is something so important and another mistake which a lot of developers do i myself fall into this category i enjoy coding a lot and sometimes i i i tend to underestimate the importance of sleep and try and and just keep on coding but that can be very very harmful for you in the long run and we all know i don't need to give you a lecture on how important rest is so i'm not saying that you should not take things uh with utmost importance you should you definitely should but it's not at all difficult to just stand up every half an hour and just take a walk 
take a five minutes walk every one hour it's not at all difficult remind yourself there are apps like uh, just try to use apps like pomodoro timer or, or something like that to or maybe a simple alarm clock to remind yourself every hour or every 30 minutes that you have to get up and take a small walk for five to ten minutes don't forget to take breaks in between your work and sleep properly this thing is very very important so the ninth tip for today is teach this is something which can benefit you a lot and why not take the benefit so the thing is whenever you teach some concepts to others you learn yourself a lot the very very best way to like the best way to master any concept is to teach it to others so what i do is i try to mentor as many people as i can i try to teach the concepts to everyone as many as many people as i can and while doing so i learn a lot I'll give you an example of React.js. I, I feel very comfortable in using React.js. Why? Because I've taught React.js to so, so many people. So remember this point that the more you teach, the more you will learn. The simple example can be mentor your juniors, uh, publish YouTube videos, make your own YouTube channel, write tutorial blogs and, and things like that. There are a lot of things. But remember, the teacher learns the most. Great, so we are at the ninth tip for today. So this is very important. Replace perfection by constant learner. So if you think that you are perfect in any particular domain or, or any particular field, you are doing a very big mistake, which you should never do. So the thing is that there is no such thing called as perfection. I remember this thing that my teacher, that my maths teacher always used to tell me in high school that perfection is like infinity. You can always tend towards it. You can always walk towards it, but you can never achieve it because infinite is not an achievable concept. And perfection is infinity. You can always, always improve. And if you think that you are perfect, there is no scope of improvement now. But even if you are very, very excellent and you feel that you are not perfect, instead you feel that you are an, a learner, then there will be a lot of improvement. No matter how, how, how great or how excellent you are, there will always be some scope of improvement. And that is what takes you from, from medium to advanced to expert. That is what makes you expert in any particular field. So yes, no matter how much you know, you can never know everything. There will always be something more to look forward to. Have a student mindset throughout your life. Always keep learning. So learning is so important. First four tips were for learning. So yes, great. So the 10th tip for today, guys, is replace comparison by inspiration. This is again, very, very big mistake, which a lot of students and a lot of developers do. So talking about students, they feel that if some student in their class is doing extraordinarily well, is doing exceptionally well, they feel like comparing, like they compare themselves to that particular person. The same thing happens in the industry as well. There will always be some prodigies. There will always be some, some expert people. And you might feel like, oh, they can do so much thing, so many things in such a little time. And they, they are so expert in their field. Why are we not doing this? And you will, you will feel like you will start comparing yourself with them. But that is a very big mistake. Instead of comparing, you should take inspiration from them. Let me tell you something that, uh, every each and every individual on this planet earth has got separate set of privileges and circumstances and situations so based on these three things circumstance situation and privilege that you have it and and your inbuilt talent as well all the combination of these things decide how well you are going to perform so it so the comparison is illogical right for example there is one person who is doing exceptionally well i never know what he has gone through i never know how much hard work has he put in i never know how much how much talented he is by birth or i don't know how how much support does he have from from other people so comparison is useless instead take inspiration from that particular guy or that particular girl and try to be like him instead of comparing yourself from them so yes instead of feeling overwhelmed or envious 
take inspiration from their hard work set goals to be at the position where they are and that is going to give you a lot of success in your life so that is it for today guys do subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com slash the lean programmer and i hope that you guys like this video if you like it do share it with your friends as well see you in the next video bye bye